Yeah, I, I, yeah. I dabble, honestly, you know, and <laughs> it's funny because we're, Allie and I were talking yesterday about some of the stuff that's going on in the world. And I said, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, there's something going on with Mars and, and, uh, and Venus and sure as shit. Yeah. There, something just happened right there between them. There was a conjunction going on. You know, you got Mars, you know, God of war and Venus, you know, love kind of battling with each other. It's been bringing up certain things. Another thing that fascinates, fascinates me is the whole Pluto and Capricorn thing. Um, because that that's gone on since 2008 it ends in 2023 and it's it's bringing this truth vibration that's shining the light on uh, everything that's dark so we're going to continue seeing more truth coming out until the end of next year the last thing that really fascinates me about astrology is um the the pluto generations um, ali and i are both in the pluto and virgo generation the generation before us was the pluto and leo generation they were the hippies they were the people that if it weren't for them holding the light for the rest of us i don't i don't know if any of us would be in this genre right now they they were the ones that were doing the harmonic convergence when in 1987 i was playing lead lead guitar in a hard rock band the harmonic convergence was the last thing i wanted to think about at that point. What so is that? I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Oh, no, that that was one of the things. I think uh, Jose Arguez was one of the one of the founders of it. But it was this um, alignment apparently back in '87 where all these people put all this love and positive energy together, and it it was a global celebration basically. Um, so um, while all these people are involved doing that here i am you know just being a you know 27 year old guitarist jamming playing music not even thinking about that but these people were holding that energy for the rest of us to come around even for those like like christina who wasn't even born yet at that point um you know for all of us to eventually come around they had to hold that energy the entire time for us and that's why I have the utmost respect for that generation, the generation before yours and mine. And that includes Masaru Emoto, Jose Arguez, Dolores Cannon, John Major Jenkins, Terrence McKenna, and the list goes on. Barbara Marciniak, the list goes on and on of all these Pluto and Leo generation. I don't know any of those names, isn't it funny? But, oh, they were all huge in holding that energy for us. You don't have to. They they did I the work. Feel for them. Us. I feel them. 